Hello and welcome everybody. This week, let me tell you about contemporary artist Helga Stencil. Contemporary artist meaning, yes, they are alive and working today. Helga is from Russia, but she lives and works in London. And a few years ago, she came up with this really fun idea while doing laundry. Can you imagine turning clothes on a washing line into different animals? What? Like a sock becoming a horse's head. Let's find out more. She says, I saw a sock on the floor next to some pegs and realised that it looked like a horse's head. It took me a while to develop the idea further and work out how to make the horse's body. I eventually swapped the sock for a pair of trousers because it was too small and not detailed enough for the horse. Well, I think, looking at this, it's very effective, don't you? Helga didn't stop there. She turned this idea into a series, these multiple artworks called Clothing Line Animals. She shares these fun creations on social media and even sells prints online. Helga loves finding magic in ordinary things and describes her work as household surrealism because the fun images playfully turn everyday objects upside down. She says household surrealism is about finding magic in the mundane, the boring, the everyday, seeing beauty and imperfections and connecting to our reality in a new way. We see a polar bear hanging against a snowy backdrop, a Londrosaurus and a brown dairy cow. Most recently, Helga created a hanging white dove representing peace between nations. It's been sold as a print with all the monies being donated to charities working in Ukraine right now. She explains, I love noticing playful similarities, be it a sweater on a clothing line looking like a horse or a slice of bread resembling a dog's head, but that's just the spot starting point. From that moment onwards, the stories start buzzing in my head. What will this horse or camel or cow look like? What's their name and character? Does the horse like racing with other horses? The list goes on and on. Helga has won awards and worked with big names like the BBC, Honda and O2. She even won Food Art Creator of the Year in 2020. But her creativity doesn't stop with animals. She also does cool projects like Food for Thought, where she takes one type of edible treat and combines it with another object to make us look again. Imagine a Lego figure's head turning into a piece of sweet corn or a dozen eggs suddenly have stems as found on tomatoes. Mind-blowing, right? In other artworks, Helga has placed clothing lines below windows on buildings to create brick-walled characters that sleepily smile and a laundry basket with two hanging socks in front of two washing machines to create a goofy happy face. In her Edible Creature series, we see a gorgeous little puppy made of lettuce and the ultimate comfort dog made of sliced bread, inspired by the Great British Bake Off, no less. As for the process, Helga likes to keep her edits to a minimum and spend time making quality props. She said, I once glued 52 gummy bears to a vine for one of my artworks. About a year ago, I also hand-painted and embroidered a hat for a polar bear in another piece, which was made in Russia at minus 32 degrees. That's freezing! But Helga says she loves the challenge and making props for her art. So if you're into turning ordinary things into something extraordinary and seeing the world in a playful way, Helga Stencil is the artist for you. My playful challenge for you this week is to either work with draping and folding and arranging different items of clothing, either on a, on a string, on a line, tied up in your house or on a balcony or outside, to try and create or recreate an animal you're interested in. 
or to use with adult permission of course food stuffs maybe um food that's uh, going off maybe some stale bread food that your um parents or carers are looking to get rid of to clear space in the cupboards tins cheeses fruits vegetables and arranging them in interesting ways to make something else as you saw Helga Stencil has done. It could be you take your favourite sweet treat like she did with her gummy bears and arrange them to make them look like something much much healthier like a bunch of grapes. It is completely up to you. Be inspired thinking about everyday things in different ways. I look forward to seeing what wacky creations you come up with as ever. Until next week, good luck artists.